Drew is back with another look at your next weather forecast. Another weekend where we're mainly dry, and mm -hmm. that's great because we haven't had that many of them across the area this summer. Last weekend was great. Then we have a little bit more cloud cover depending on where you are. This is Marine Atlantic City. Got some really nice looking boats out there. Love that yacht in the middle. It is not a bad day to be out there. The winds are light, the skies. Yeah, a little bit of a mix, but we also have comfortable temperatures and nothing on the radar. Behind me, we are scanning the skies and not finding anything out there from Philly to the shore up toward the mountains. Now, again, cloud cover, a different story. When you add that layer on the map, we actually have a pretty overcast sky. That will continue overnight, and that means the temperatures will actually stay up overnight. When you have the cloud cover, it acts like a little bit of a blanket out there, and that's going to keep those temperatures in the 70s versus the 60s. Out there right now, 84 degrees in Philadelphia. It feels like 84. The dew point, only 59 degrees. When you're below 60, it's still in the comfortable category. That will change and increase over the course of the next few days, but at least for now, it's not a bad Saturday. Next few hours look like this. You could still take your dinner outside, even spend some time outdoors tonight. Temperatures will be back down only into the low 70s early in the morning. Most areas across the city will not get below 70 degrees. The shore may be upper 60s. Meantime, we're right back to nearly 80 by 10 a.m. and a little bit more sunshine and spots on Sunday will allow us to get even warmer than we were today. So overnight it looks like this. The clouds give way to a little bit more sunshine early in the morning. We wake up with a pretty nice sky. And overall tomorrow is once again going to be kind of a mixed sky out there. By noon we'll have a mix of sun and clouds. There may be a sprinkle toward the end of the day in one or two spots, but really don't count on it. The main event will start to come in as we wind down the weekend and head into next week. So here's 8 o'clock. Already starting to see those clouds really thicken up. Then as we approach 10 o'clock, showers, a couple thunderstorms by Lancaster. Those move toward the Allentown area by midnight. And then Monday, if you're a third shifter, if you get out really early, we're going to deal with showers and thunderstorms from about 4 a.m. all the way through 7 a.m. in Philadelphia and beyond. In fact, we could have another round of rain coming in before a bit of a break by the early part of the afternoon. Then by 5 o'clock, showers and thunderstorms roll in, and these have the potential to be strong and maybe severe, with heavy rain and gusty winds being the main culprits. Again, this would be for Monday afternoon. Large hail and tornado threat. It's not zero, but it's low. Always going to keep our eye on that. Tonight, 69 degrees, mixed skies, a warm night. Again, most of us 70 or 70 ish. 88 degrees in Philly tomorrow, the shore around 81, and in the mountains around 86 with partly cloudy skies. Here is your seven day forecast 84 on Monday, a next weather alert day, by the way. We could be looking at those strong to severe storms in the afternoon, and then we'll see some lingering showers Tuesday, a break Wednesday, and another active Thursday, Friday, and Saturday.